Hey guys, my name is Kristen Marie and welcome to my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so obviously this isn't a real Harper's Bazaar video, but I wanted to recreate this because last week I recreated a Vogue's Beauty Secrets video and I absolutely love the way it came out. So I want to recreate this go to bed with me video that Harper Bazaar always makes and I absolutely love these videos. So I thought I'd make my own. I thought this would be a fun way to show you guys my updated skincare routine because it's changed a lot since the last time I uploaded a skincare routine video which I think was like a year or two ago. So yeah, I just thought this would be a fun way to show you. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say, so let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so first to state the obvious, I'm obviously in my bedroom. I can't film in my bathroom because the fan is literally way too loud. So I'm going to be filming in here, so I'm going to have to be running back and forth between the bathroom and my bedroom when I'm washing my face. So that'll be fun. Before I start my skincare routine, I'm going to put my hair up so it's out of the way when I'm putting on all the lotions and washing my face and everything. So... I put my hair up. It obviously doesn't look that great. I just threw it up in a messy bun, but it gets the job done. It keeps my hair out of my face, so that is great. Next thing I'm gonna do is put on this little towel bow thingy that will keep my hair from getting wet when I wash my face. So the first thing that I do is take off my makeup. Um, I don't wear makeup all the time, so if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll skip this step, but today I'm wearing makeup, so I'm gonna be using the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is what it looks like. I really like this. It is a bit expensive, but I feel like it lasts a long time, so I feel like it's worth the money. But I take a little bit of this, and then I'll just put this all over my face okay so now I'm gonna go wash this off and then I'll be right back okay so I just got back from washing my face with the um, makeup remover now I'm gonna go in with the face wash I like doing this two-step process to take off my makeup because I feel like it really does cleanse my skin and it gets rid of all of the impurities from the makeup so I love doing a two-step process when I have makeup on if I don't have makeup on I don't really care to do a two-step process because I feel like a face wash is enough to get everything off so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Tula skincare the cult classic face wash and I just take like a dime size amount of this and again I'll just put this all over my face and I'll make sure to rub it in really good to make sure that everything comes off and there's no dirt left on my skin Okay, so now I'm gonna go wash this off and then I'll be right back. The next thing that I do is go in with the Bioderma Micellular Water and I'll use this to take off any remaining eye makeup that I have. I love this brand because I feel like it's not so oily and it just feels like literally like water. So it doesn't have like that oiliness to it. I used to use the Garnier um, my cellular water and I felt like that was just so oily and it didn't feel good on my skin but this whenever I use it I don't feel like there's like gunk on my skin I feel like my skin is clean so I love this brand and I definitely recommend it so the next thing that I do is go in with toner and I usually go back and forth between two toners um, one of my favorites is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I got this a while ago and I actually really like it. I feel like my pores look a little bit smaller after using this, so I really do like that. And if I don't use this product, then I'll use the Ulla Henriksen Glow OH Dark Spot Toner. I'll go back and forth between these two because I don't like using this all the time because I feel like it is a stronger toner, even though it says you can use it every day. I just like to let my skin kind of rest a little bit and not do too much on it. Um, so today I'm going to go in with the Ulla Henriksen Glow OH Dark Spot Toner. And I literally just put this on my hand. I used to put it on like a little cotton pad, but I just feel like putting it on your hand and putting it on is just as effective. So I'll just 
put this on my face. So the next thing that I do is go in with hyaluronic acid, and this is from the Inky List. Um, you can get this from Sephora, it's super inexpensive. I think this was like $8 or something, which is such a good deal. So I'll just take some of that and put it on my skin. So I'll take like three drops, and I'll just put this on my skin. This helps with hydration, and if you have dry skin, this is perfect for you. The next thing that I go in with is vitamin C and this is just from some random brand that I found from Burlington. Again, this is super inexpensive. It's literally only $5.99 and I feel like it works really great. Um, so I'll just take a little bit of this and I'll put it on my face. So I'll take like that much. That's a lot, but this is... I love vitamin C. Because I feel like it really does help in brightening up your skin. So I absolutely love putting this serum on my face. This is probably my all-time favorite serum to use in my skincare routine. So the next thing that I'll do while this soaks in my face is take my jade roller and I'll just roll out my face. This helps with lymphatic drainage. So I love doing this because I feel like it really does make a difference. So for my skincare before, I used to think that the more that I did, the better. I used to just pile on so many different products on my face, and I thought that's what would work best. But I learned that less is better, so now I don't go in with that many products as I used to. And I feel like that works a lot better for me. So the way I roll up my face is I'll first roll it out here like on top of my cheekbone and I'll push it back and then I'll do underneath my cheekbone and I'll push that back as well and then I go right under my jawline and I'll push it back and then at the end I'll just take it down and push it downwards towards my heart that's how you drain lymphatic drainage you push it towards your heart and your heart will do the rest. So the next thing I do is put on some lactic acid and this I don't do all the time. Um, I haven't done it in a while so I'm gonna put it on today. I don't know if you're supposed to mix all these products together um, but I've never had a bad reaction so far, knock on wood. But I'll just take a little bit of that and I'll put this on my face. I think this is supposed to help with tightening your face. I am no skincare expert, this is just what works for me. So this is just what I like to do. The next thing that I do is use um, a caffeine solution from The Ordinary. And I'll just put this on my problem spots. I'll put this underneath my eyes, so where my dark spots are underneath there on my nose right here, a little bit on my chin, and then right underneath my chin. This helps with dark spots, and I really do feel like it definitely does help. I feel like my dark spots aren't as dark as they used to be. I have a lot of acne scarring under my chin because at school, I used to sit with my hand under my chin on my desk, so I used to get acne here all the time because I kept putting the oils from my hand onto my chin. So I have a lot of scarring underneath my chin, and I feel like this product really helped get rid of that darkness. It's still a little bit dark, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So the last thing that I do for the face is use the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, and I absolutely love this cream. It is literally so hydrating. I feel like for those of you who have dry skin, it will literally get rid of any dryness on your face because it's that good. So I'll just take a little bit of it, like a dime size amount, and I'll just put this on my face. And I absolutely love this moisturizer. So I'll just put this all over and I'll bring it down to my neck as well because your neck is the first thing to show your age so it's always important to make sure you hydrate your neck 
So the last thing that I do in my nighttime skincare routine is put on lip balm and I go back and forth between two different lip balms. The first one that I use is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and this is very, very, very hydrating. It's a lip mask that you put on overnight or you can wear it throughout the day, but I feel like it's too thick to wear during the day, so I like using it at night. If I don't use this product, I'll use the Aquaphor Healing Ointment Lip Balm. Um, I really like this because it's super thin but very hydrating as well But because my lips are a little bit more dry today I'm gonna be using the Laneige lip sleeping mask and it's super cute because it comes with a little Spatula thingy that you can use to get the product and put it on your lips So that's about it for this nighttime skincare routine. That's all that I do. It's very simple. There's nine products that I use and I feel like it really does help my skin. My skin has been so good lately, so I feel like this is my staple skincare routine. My new motto is the less the better. So yeah, I hope you guys found it useful and you guys like this video. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to say. So I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.